Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 24th, 2018. So it's Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, and the market is open, opening this morning, and so far this morning, it looks like the futures want to give us a... Well, a roller coaster ride. We had a positive futures um, outlook um, in the pre um, early early morning this morning, and now that is completely re uh, reversed to uh, a negative look this morning. Um, now currently down 130 points. So volatility still continues to abound on um, this Christmas Eve morning. Um, Clearly, the federal government is is shut down and looks like that is going to extend for a period of time. The damage to the market uh, continues to increase. And as long as this political turmoil um, continues, um, I wouldn't expect that to change. So as we head into the holiday, doggone it, it looks like the Grinch is in control, not, not a Santa Claus rally. And so, unfortunately, uh, we're going to likely see some more selling. Now, please keep in mind, we could see some very quick bounces back um, if there's a, a news report or something like that uh, today. We could always um, come roaring right back if we have... Um, you know just a news report that says things are getting better or something so watch that closely now as we take a look at the technicals of the market we're in a terrible position here um obviously continuing to sell off very very strongly here and if this selling continues today as it looks like it might uh, notice we um closed Friday right here on this level of support and now this morning we're showing a gap below that level if we don't rally right back above to hold that level um, sometime today then we could easily see levels down here be tested as um, this selling continues to to be very very extreme in the market plagued with tremendous volatility so Kind of an ugly looking setup this morning. Now that's completely changed from the way when I wrote the note this morning, we, we had a bullish look uh, going into the market open. So that has certainly changed since I wrote that morning blog post. Let's take a look at the um, SPY. SPY certainly not in a good situation. And you can see on Friday failing this level of support and now gapping lower this morning we could easily see levels tested down in here maybe even uh, as low as down in here so ugly ugly looking chart and i wish i could tell you there was some relief um, in this right now but obviously there's not let's take a look at the cues the queues um, obviously breaking down through this support on Friday, um, continued selling coming in strong. As we push lower, we do have some levels of support right in here. And so far this morning, uh, the queues are gapping down to those levels. Hopefully we catch some hold in this area and try to bounce back because um, if we continue to drop, well, just take a look, um, we can move sharply lower down here in the queues to catch that next level of support. And by the way, if we take a look at some of our moving averages here, um, clearly, um, uh, very sickly market and nothing has um, it has come back uh, in any measure to give us some hope of a rally here just um, in the near very near future other than we're just very very oversold if we take a look at a um, at a weekly one thing I, I want to point out to you is as we start drifting um, we've now lost the 50 day moving average our 200 day is still significantly below let's hope we don't go all the way down to test those levels if we um, take a look at the spy spy on our uh, weekly chart you can see we're really not that far away from the weekly 200 day moving average here on the spy cues 
um, obviously significantly further to fall to reach there and IWM has already cracked that level and is uh, failing the weekly 200 day moving average and just the devastation here uh, in the chart is sub you know just substantial um we're going to need some uh, re resolution to some of this political uncertainty to start bringing things back around and as of right now the news is showing us that we're telling us that this could last for some time with the government shutdown let's take a look at the vix the VIX moving up higher here. We could reach that panic, that capitulation point here before too terrible long as panic uh, might strike the market and move us clear up here toward that 40 handle uh, in uh, the VIX sphere. If that were to occur, uh, we might actually reach that capitulation point where we could catch that rally back. But once again, it's really going to depend on, on, on um, this political uncertainty and whether or not they can resolve some of these issues as we move forward let's take a look um, at t21 22 t21 22 for days now has indicated that we are in an extremely bearish situation here an extreme oversold condition at this point and a bullish reversal would be suggested at any time but we certainly, um, with all the headwinds that we're facing, um, unless we can start to get some resolution, um, our, our elected officials get it together here and start resolving some problems, we could certainly stay down here. This is an extreme situation, I can tell you. I've not seen it hold down in this level for this period of time um, in, in a very, very long time. So um, obviously, we've got a lot of work to do here to resolve some of these um, some of the selling pressure that's going on in the market right now let's take um, a quick look um, at our economic calendar today if we take a look we do have a couple things on here to make note of but nothing that is likely to move the market around we've got the Chicago Fed national activity some bond auctions and some announcements and then the most important thing to take note of today is that uh, the market is closed early today okay market closes at 1 p.m eastern time today so please keep that in mind uh, that we will be closing down early and um, what typically happens uh, not that this holiday is going to be typical uh, what typically happens is volume becomes very light and choppy after the morning rush but of course that may not be the typical case uh, for today so um please be very very careful if you do think about trading today I would really want to caution you to maybe reconsider uh, particularly if you're planning to hold anything uh, through the holiday because the volatility the damage here just could uh, well let's there's just a tremendous amount of risk um, let's say that tremendous amount of risk and that could continue for the remainder of the week if they can't come to some resolution um, in our federal budget so with that everyone hey i want to wish you a fantastic day and even though it's very very gloomy um, when we take a look at the market please understand that we still live in one of the greatest countries on earth and we have so many blessings and so many things to be thankful for so with that everyone I want to wish you all just an absolutely fantastic uh, Christmas I want to wish uh, safety for your family I want to wish you all the very very best this holiday season so with that everyone take care have an awesome awesome Merry, Merry Christmas, and we'll talk to you all very, very soon, uh, bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a great one.